Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the oxidation of alcohols. When you oxidize the alcohols, what are the things that you get? But before I start the oxidation of an alcohol, let's have a quick revision. Let's have a quick revision of the oxidation of the different uh, compounds. If you have an alcohol, you know, alkane, like this, CH3, Alkanes, when you oxidize, you normal, we normally get alcohols, right? So from alkanes, you get alcohols. And if you oxidize uh, alcohols further, you get ketones. So further oxidation of an alcohol, you get a ketone or a aldehyde. So it depends on what type of an alcohol it is. So you get, say, aldehyde here in this case, and if you further oxidize the aldehydes, you can get carboxylic acids, okay? So alkanes oxidize to alcohols, alcohols can be oxidized to aldehydes and aldehydes can further be oxidized to carboxylic acids. So let's take here an, one example. You know, if you take the methane here, right? Uh, the simplest alkane, oxidize it, you get alcohol, methanol, and if you further oxidize it, uh, you get aldehyde, further oxidize, you get carboxylic acid. And if you further oxidize, you can get a carbon dioxide, right? So, the different types of, uh, you know, oxidizing agents uh, that we use, right? Or it can either be potassium dichromate in acidic medium, k 4 in acidic medium, PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate, a colonist reagent. These are the most commonly oxidizing agents that, that we normally use for the oxidation of alcohols actually, right? So basically we are at this stage, right? You know, today we are going to discuss oxidation of an alcohols, how we oxidize alcohols and what are the products that, you know, you can get, right? And here, what is this PCC? PCC is uh, a pyridinium chloro, you know, chromate, right? Fine. So let's now take one example. We have different types of alcohols. We have one degree secondary in the tertiary alcohols. Let's start with the primary alcohols. If we oxidize a primary alcohol, right? A primary alcohol is like this, right? Or CH2OH. So if you look at the primary alcohol, it has two hydrogen atoms attached to the alpha carbon atom. And these two hydrogen atoms are actually oxidizable. So you can oxidize these uh, hydrogen atoms. So if you replace this particular hydrogen atom by OH, what do you get? You get RCOH here and one OH is also there. Now this system, right, is actually unstable. Carbon with two OH groups is always unstable. This type of a molecule is very much unstable. So if you see two OH groups on the same carbon, that system is always unstable. So what happens then? You know, this type of a molecule then, you know, re you know, release the water here, the OH here and the H will be lost as the water, right? It will be lost as the water H2O here. And then the carbon forms the double bond with oxygen. And what do you get then? You get RC double bond OH. Okay, so this is an aldehyde. Right? So that means if you have a primary alcohol, you can get an aldehyde. Right? And since this aldehyde has a one more hydrogen atom, again, attached to this uh, carbon, so you can further oxidize it, and then what do you get? If you further oxidize this, if you further replace this hydrogen by the OH, so further oxidation will result in the formation of a carboxylic acid. So from an alcohol, from a primary alcohol, you can get an aldehyde, right? This one, this one is an aldehyde, okay? And aldehydes can be further oxidized to the carboxylic acids. Okay, to the carboxylic acids. Whether you get an aldehyde or a you know, carboxylic acid as a final product, it actually depends on what type of a reagent we use, right? If we use a strong uh, oxidizing agent like KMnO4 in acidic medium, right? KMnO4 in acidic medium, or we use the potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7, right? 
in acidic medium. These are actually the strong oxidizing agents. Then what is the product you get? You get actually the carboxylic acid. The final product is a carboxylic acid because you know the same oxidizing agent, the potassium dichromate further uh, oxidizes here the aldehyde into the carboxylic acid. But if you use the mild oxidizing agents like the PCC, right? Okay, or we use the colonus reagent. We use the colonus reagent, okay? Then you get an aldehyde because the PCC and the colonus reagent, uh, they can't oxidize aldehydes uh, into the carboxylic acids, so the reaction stops at the aldehydic state. So if you need an aldehyde from an alcohol, we can use the PCC or the, uh, you know, the colonus reagent, but if you need a carboxylic acid from an alcohol, we can use potassium dichromate or we can use the KMnO4. So now let's take an, another example of the secondary alcohols. What about the secondary alcohols? What type of products you get from the secondary alcohols, right? So a secondary alcohol, we know it contains two alkyl groups, right? It has got two alkyl groups and a one hydrogen atom here. So from secondary alcohols, you can see there's only one hydrogen atom attached to it, right? In primary, there are two hydrogen atoms, so that's why you can get a, you know, uh, carboxylic acid there. So if you look at the second, you know, secondary alcohol, so from secondary alcohols, what do you get? If you replace this particular hydrogen atom here, oxidize this one, this hydrogen, okay, this hydrogen can be oxidized and then you again get the same system. Okay, you get carbon with two OH groups. So if you oxidize the secondary alcohol here, you get a carbon with two OH groups, right? And that again is unstable because as I said, if you have two hydroxide groups on the same carbon, that is uh, you know, always unstable and it will uh, you know, gain the stability by the loss of water here, right? By the loss of water. Hydroxide group here and the H here. So you get the water, so water is lost and this particular carbon forms a double bond with the oxygen. And then what do you get? You get RC double bond OR. And now what it is? This is a ketone, right? This is a ketone. Clear? So that means, that means from secondary alcohols, you get ketones, correct? And ketones can further be oxidized, right? If you use a strong oxygen agent, you know, you can get uh, the carboxylic acid also from this one, right? You can get a carboxylic acid, carboxylic acids again, if you further oxidize, but then you have to use a very strong oxygen agent, right? To, you know, convert, uh, to convert the ketones into carboxylic acids. And oxidation of the ketones and aldehydes uh, into carboxylic acids, you know, we will discuss it in another chapter when we start the aldehydes and the ketones and there we will just check what are the type, different types of products which are possible from the oxidation of the ketones, right? So right now we will only, you know, confine it up to the ketonic stage, right? Fine. Now let's take an, ex you know, a, a, an example here. Suppose we got the CH3, C, H, OH here and you got the CH3, if you oxidize this molecule, secondary alcohol, what do you get? You get a carbon with three alkyl groups, CH3, CH3, and it has an OH already attached to it. And now this particular hydrogen, you know, is oxidizable and you can replace it by the OH. As I said, this system is always unstable, so it will gain a stability by the loss of water, right? H2 here. H2O here, hydroxide from this one, H from here, and this particular carbon forms a double bond, and then what do you get? You get the CH3, C double bond, O, CH3, right? So you got the acetone, you know, this is actually a ketone, right? So we got the acetone from this one. So from 2-propanol, right, from 2-propanol, you got acetone. So this is a secondary alcohol, it produces acetone. Now what about the tertiary alcohols? Tertiary alcohols, they contain 
three hydroxide, three alkyl groups, right? With the carbon. So basically, this tertiary alcohol does not have any oxidizable hydrogen atom, right? Okay. It does not have any oxidizable hydrogen atom attached to it, right? Because you don't see any alpha hydrogen atom, so that's why these are difficult to oxidize, okay? These are difficult to oxidize. So these are very uh, difficult to oxidize. They don't oxidize normally, correct? Primary and the secondary you can oxidize, but tertiary are difficult to oxidize. You can oxidize tertiary alcohols only under the drastic condition. That means you have to use high temperature, high pressure, only then, you know, the ketones, uh, so sorry, these uh, tertiary alcohols can be oxidized. So under the drastic conditions only, right, they get oxidized, right? And if you oxidize them, you get basically the a mixture of the uh, carboxylic acids, right? So you get, and for oxidation, purpose we can't use the mild oxidizing agent we have to use only strong oxidizing agent like suppose you get the KMnO4 right under acidic medium and very high temperature right very high temperature and high pressure correct so you can get the mixture of carboxylic acids hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now